bringing the people behind our food to life. Just let it slide up the plate a little bit more. Like that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, photography I've done ever since I was a kid. I had a friend who had, his dad had a dark room, so the first time I saw a print come out, it was like from this level, because I think I was three foot two at that point, and, and it would kind of grab me completely at that point, and I just went, this is, this is way cool. I worked with a fashion photographer for years and years, and kind of uh, did all the preparatory work with him, and I built a portfolio, and started walking around with it. It just seemed like people that were looking for food were the ones that were reacting to what I had the most. Food is, is a, a place that I could apply some of the things that I learned in fashion. The trends change and, and the looks change and it's still lighting for um, texture and, and something to make, make that image jump off a page. Let's see what that looks like. Um, the business of food photography is really a business where it's a collaboration with many people. First of all, the client, all right. Christy Mather um, from the Pear Bureau. Carolyn um, is the uh, food stylist. We've worked uh, on all kinds of different food projects. Tony is here um, working as a second stylist. Okay, I was just talking with Christy about uh -huh. um, this could be the one where the chef is holding it. Yeah, it could be. And yeah. if we do that, I'm gonna, gonna wiggle a bunch of light here. And in the case of food, you know, as much as people like to, to, to think it's, it's, you know, just set there and shot, um, there's a lot of prep that is involved. And, uh, and in terms of getting the set ready for it, there's a lot of lighting, which has to um, be accomplished. We work back and forth. You get a little bit closer to the real food, then you get a little closer to the real light and a little closer to the real food and a little closer to the real light. And uh, it's that dance, you know, uh, when the food comes out, I adjust my lights. When I adjust my lights, styling is, is, is brought to a, a higher peak at that point. Hey, Carolyn? Yeah. Before you put that on there, yeah. let's look at this picture. Okay. Good idea. Because then we can judge where I was thinking of putting it back in here. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. That's my thought. Cool. We basically have to take what, what is sitting there in a three-dimensional form and bring as many parts of that feeling of the food in, into a two-dimensional space. And it often has to do with really giving it a feel of its texture and, 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 and color, you know, and, and lighting it in such a way that it brings out those colors that let it kind of fold around and give, give whatever it is a shape. It's just a lot of little, little pieces of things that we all, you know, you don't pay attention to, but when you look at it in, in a finished form, you kind of go, oh, well, that looks... It looks delicious. I think that one thing that was kind of a long time in coming was how to try to make something look, um, make you hungry. I think it looks really good. I think the food looks great. Yeah, the pears look awesome. Mm -hmm. They look piled high. I mean, it is, it's totally about the pears here. Yeah, it's about the pears and it's about it's got that honey sweetness feel yeah, to it. it that's very earthy and yeah. Um, yeah. Carolyn, you're fine. I'm fine. I okay. I think it's great. Great job. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Let's let's uh, go on to the. Yeah. Let's go on to the drinks.